When the coalition government of Nejmatin Erbakan was forced from power in 1997, Elif Nerulu was a student in Istanbul. Heading for a career in medicine, her life took a different course. She believes her university entrance exam was marked down on purpose, denying her a place at a medical university. We entered university entrance exam, and we, I did a good grade, but uh, since I graduated from Imam, Imam Hatip High School, my grades were counted 30 points lower. At the same time, okay, we were, our grades were lower, were counted lower, plus headscarf was bent. It was part of a policy to downgrade students from certain schools. The events of 1997 were termed a postmodern coup because there was no mass violence. The military at the time, which saw itself as the guarantor of a secular Turkey, deemed the government to be too religious in nature. On this day, 19 years ago, it presented Prime Minister Erdogan with a list of demands. They included enforcing a ban on headscarves at universities and the closure of many religious schools. It was at universities like this one here in Istanbul where people protested loudly and strongly against the rules imposed by the military. Lives were changed. Many had to go overseas to continue their education. But did it alter, essentially, Turkish society? It, first of all, led to the rise of the Muslim Democrats that we have today, with the, with the Justice and Development Party being established, with them uh, breaking away from the Welfare Party, finding their own niche within the political spectrum. And the entire spectrum, with all its effects on the Turkish society, changed. The military maintained it was upholding the secular principles of the Constitution. 19 years later, there's an ongoing legal process against those involved. These days, Elif is still in the classroom, but as a lecturer in macroeconomics, she never became the doctor she wanted to be and spent many years outside the country. Just I could ask, so what did you gain? Now, I'm among the lucky ones who could continue in a way, in another country, but there are me many people who couldn't study at that time, who couldn't work, and who had to give up and stay at home. But as things stand, without a change in the law, what happened to Elif could happen again to others in the future. Francis Collings, TRT World.